Hey everybody, today's Radical Rundown, um, we have a few topics. I'm Phil Cardinelli, here to talk to you about one of the interesting topics is developing your B, C, D, and E game. Let's just talk about it for a second. If you're in a bowling tournament and you have to go to a D and E game, my suggestion is you just go to the snack bar, order a pizza, grab a beer, because you're probably not going to be competitive at the D and E level. Now, let's talk about the B, C game. Okay, so everybody has an A game. What you're comfortable at. If I said to you, uh, I want you to develop your A game and tell me what pattern to put out. That's your A pattern. How you throw it. How you feel more comfortable. I got it. How much variation of that can you realistically learn? Uh, you certainly could throw it a little bit differently. Finesse it at the bottom. Loft it a little bit. Add a little more side turn. Those are things you probably can do without making drastic changes to your A game. When you get into the C game, an example is Walter Ray. His A game is fairly straight. He developed a C game is two-handed. That's a drastic change. If you have to learn that, I think you're more likely to be successful if you just learn how to play different angles on the lane not as much as modifying your entire game or revamping the way you bowl. Stick to what you're good at, stay as close to what your A game is as possible, and then make slight variations, um, angles, parts of the lane that you're unfamiliar with. You know, if you've never played fifth arrow, go practice it. Just learn the angles you require to play anywhere from fifth arrow back out to the gutter. And then you can learn the different releases or how much you can finesse it at the bottom or whack on it a little harder as you get comfortable with learning different angles. All right, so, you know, one of the uh, interesting parts of learning a different variation of your game, in this case B and C, um, you, you really want to look at your equipment. Uh, what part of the lane are you used to playing? Uh, do you throw it at the friction? Are you good at going up the boards? You know, those are little subtleties. Uh, a stronger ball may be necessary when you have to move way in, a weaker ball when you have to move way out, just so you can stay closer to what you do best without having to make drastic changes in your style, your game itself. Um, learning a second game is practice. You just have to go out and try it and, and try to keep doing it. Use video. Um, see if it looks the same. You know, but my biggest uh, suggestion is to keep it as close to what your A game is and just learn variations of that game. You know, one of the things I suggest people do from time to time is as you're bowling, whether it be tournament, league, is take notes. You know, don't, don't be sitting there with a book writing it in between shots. Um, but you might want to take notes and, and write down where you struggled, why you struggled, uh, what was the result of your struggle. And then when you go to a practice session to learn that new style, um, you can concentrate on that and it's fresh in memory. You have it written down, you remember exa what exactly happened as you were bowling in that tournament. Uh, not writing it down, you're trying to recall how bad it was or what happened and then you sort of lose sight of it. But writing it down, even during the tournament, could help you uh, just keep your mind aware of these things that just happened. Um, not that you want to keep dwelling on the unsuccessful part, but learning, learning how to correct it and avoid that trap again uh, is the key. So keep, keep notes. Um, like I said, don't be up there in between shots writing down that you missed your target by two boards and the guy behind you will want to choke you by the time you're done. So just uh, try to keep track of what's going on. If you have any, uh, any questions or comments, uh, please put them in the section below. And uh, we'll see you guys soon with another uh, Radical Rundown.